I was in grad school, and one of my mentors um, asked me, uh, why are you, why are you making theater? Part of his challenge was that he felt like theater was, um, was kind of an old form. It wasn't maybe so relevant. Um, it wasn't keeping up. And um, it was kind of a frustrating question at the time, but it really made me need to take a position on that. And I think that's actually something really useful for those of us who are practitioners of theater. I thought a lot about this because part of what I do is also um, media-based art or interdisciplinary artwork that sometimes shows up in museums or galleries or film festivals. And that's really exciting as an artist because um, my work is being seen in different contexts and it's engaging with different disciplinary ideas and forms and that's putting the work out into the culture in different ways. Theater can actually be incredibly relevant and powerful, but I think that's very much contingent upon how much it is able to open up to include other kinds of art forms and aesthetics and art making practices. It's a negotiation of what do we hold on to as theater artists, but I think it's also about what are we going to let go of. Ultimately, I came to this decision that, yes, I, I do want to consider myself a theater artist, but it's not so much because I want to um, kind of hold on to what theater is or has been, uh, but it's because I'm thinking about what I hope theater can be. I am Chi Wong Yang, and I am theater.